Dad and George are out here. We're having a little Dad and George morning. We both got haircuts. Dude, you look awesome. Do you think Mom will like it? Mm -hmm. So I had an idea. I think we're gonna take this a step further and dress George up to look exactly like me. And then we're gonna go home and show Mom. Oh man, those should be just fine. Dude, you look awesome. You look just like Dad. George, I think you're the coolest kid I've ever seen. Oh, boom! <laughs> I just called mom and told her to come outside. You wanna if we forgot if we forgot George. Yeah. Except okay, we did it. Except we did it, because you're right here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna Okay. <laughs> Alright, look, we're so matching. Two, three. We're home. So guess 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 who's the dad and guess who's the George? Mm, let me see. Dad? I don't know where my George is. I am the, the real George. No, nope, I'm the real George. No, we didn't. You're the, you're the real dad because you're taller than me. Dad just trusted me up to be to look like the same as dad. But he was inside. I can't wait. So I'm always kind of thinking about traditions because they make me happy. And I want to start a tradition where every year we get like a new Christmas book for each kid. We'll get them out every Christmas and put them in a basket by your Christmas tree. Are you ready? So this one was for James. It's about the elf and the reindeer? It's called The Christmas Wish. What about and me? for George. Hey, cool. The cat Christmas. And then for Violet, we got this one. Oh, cute. cute. I love that idea. Hey. Luna loves story time. He had caught a bad chill. the quest to find our favorite hike near our house. And I think this one might be it, at least for what's closest to our house. This is like 10 minutes away from where we live. Hello? Baby is once again my favorite little buddy. She's been in this position for like an hour, just Love and life. It keeps going farther up this canyon right there, but there's a little rope that you have to hold on and climb up, and I don't think we can do that with kids and the dogs. They're having plenty of fun right here, though. James is sick today, so we're just trying to get things done around the house. Dude, this is like fog, Dad. <laughs> yeah, it is. Rainbow power. <laughs> Rainbow. So the rule in our family is if you get sick at night, like you throw up, you get to have a special sick bed, which is essentially just like a cushion on the floor. And you just essentially get to watch shows and drink juice for as long as you're sick. It makes our kids love getting sick. James woke us up last night and was like, mom, I'm sick, I threw up, I get to watch a show. She requested a Santa Claus show. Anyone know what this show is? In the meantime, George and Dallin are doing what makes them truly happy. The car wash just leaves all the swirly marks in the paint. I hate the swirly marks in the paint. We're just chilling in the backyard of our new house. We just come here and just dream about it together. We just learned exactly what James wants for Christmas. What kind of drawing easel do you want for Christmas? Uh, one that, um, like Bambolina and paint yeah. and paper and pencils and yeah. markers. And I want to be on the inside and outside to have five princesses. That's what you want for Christmas? Yeah. If you guys find anything like that on Amazon, let us know. <laughs> for now, we're going to draw in the dirt. We're to the point where our house has enough nice stuff in it that they lock the doors every time the workers leave, essentially locking us out. And I don't like it. Whoa. 
One, two, ready or not, here I come. Up here? <laughs> Found us! Found you. Well, and I are doing our morning stretches, and she is just so talkative this morning. <laughs> you pooped in the refrigerator. <laughs> and you ate the whole wheel of cheese? <laughs> I'm not even mad, that's amazing. Oh. <laughs> to good waffles is number one, my sister's recipe. And number two, before you cook the waffles, just let them sit for a while. You just, it just makes the batter better. Come on, James is ready for bed. She is very excited. How about bottle? Oh, right. Come on. <laughs> James is our anomaly of a child whose favorite time of the day is going to bed because she gets warm and cuddly and cozy. <laughs> You can tell that she is George's sister. This is her beloved night night, and this is what she rubs all night long, right there. It is my turn to put this monster to bed. <laughs> this Spider-Man monster. Hey Georgie, tell me the best thing that happened to you today and the worst thing that happened to you today. Well, I am excited to ride, to go fast, to go fast, fast down our bike and, and big wheel track. You are excited for that. Yeah. You didn't seem very excited at the house. Yeah, good day. And can't wait. What was the worst part of your day today? My worst part of the day was actually nothing. I just had a fun day. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed. Because <laughs> you were so grumpy all the day. Yeah, and my other happy thing is when you is when you brought the special treats and special drinks. I did. I stopped at the gas station and got you a special drink. Yeah, I was hoping you got the one that I was hoping for, and he did. Oh, <laughs> good. George really likes toys, but I think one of his major love languages is actually gifts. Like, he loves when I just bring him something really small, like a drink. Good night, George. <laughs> That's how you put me to bed. <laughs> okay, let's go to bed. Bye.